So today for hand apparatus, we're going to be using a soft toy, a nice soft squidgy toy. There's Humpty. We need to find one that's about the right size now. This one, this is too big because I can't really hold her in my hands properly. So that's no good. Um, Elma is nice. I can squidge Elma and hold Elma in my hand nicely. There's Elma. Little bird's lovely as well, nice and soft. And I can squidge little bird in my hands. And here's a lovely one. This is Dinosaur. He's nice and squidgy. It's my nice blue squidgy dinosaur. I can hold him nicely in my hand as well. So can you go and ask your grown-up to go and find you a soft toy that you can use for hand apparatus because we're going to need it a little bit later on. Here we are. Let's have a look. I've got my bag here again and we need to find out what's in the bag so we know what our session is about today. Shall I have a look? It's something from the sea. It's got quite a few legs and they're all the same length and they're pointy. Can you see? It's a starfish. I've got a lovely orange starfish. Should we count the legs? One, two, three, four, five. Five legs on my starfish because we're thinking about the seaside.
decorators today are soft toys. I've chosen my little bird. I wonder what you've chosen. If you haven't got anything, you can always pretend and join in anyway. You ready? First of all, let's reach up as high as we can. And then reach down and show our toy what's going on on the floor. Good. Standing up again. Let's go down into tuck shape. Pop your little toy on top and you can go down like a slide. Oof. Now we're going into pike shape. Take your soft toy and see if you can go for a walk. Right to the end. Put those toes and back again. Now into straddle. Point those toes, your little toy is going to see if they're pointed. That one's pointed. And that one's pointed. And back in top of the slide again for one more ride. Hello everyone. We're going to look at our cards. This is my first picture. What can you see? I can see some birds. How many can you count? Should we count together? One, two, three. What do you think the birds are doing? They're flying. So we're going to do some flying. So we're going to stand up. And we're going to get our wings and we're going to go up and down, up and down. Now, can we walk on our tippy toes? Up and down and backwards, up and down. Should we try again? Up, down, up, down and backwards, up, down, up, down. Good job. Let's see what our next picture is. What's this? It's the sunshine. Now we're going to be the sunshine. So can you stand up? This is our tick tock. So we're going to do tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Very good. Let's try that again. Well done. Let's see what our last picture is of. Oh, I like making these when I go to the beach. What can you see? It's a sandcastle. What can you see on top of the sandcastle? Look, there's two. One, two. They're flags. And what colour are the flags? That's right, they're red. So we're going to be the flag on top of the sandcastle. So we need to put our arms out and we're going to lift one of our legs up and we're going to hold. Should we count to three? One, two, three. And put your leg down. Let's try the other leg. So stand up nice and tall, arms out to the side to help us balance. And we're going to lift the other leg and we're going to hold for three. One sandcastle, two sandcastle, three sandcastle. Very good. Hi everyone. Our focus skill today is shapes. So let's look at some gymnastic shapes. Our first shape is our tuck shape. So we're going to bend our knees and we're going to bring them up. Feet together, knees together, arms out. Let me show you that again from the side. So that's knees together, feet up, straight backs, arms out. That's your tuck shape. Have a practice. Our next shape is going to be our pike shape. So for our pike shape, we're going to have a nice straight back and we're going to put our legs together, arms out in front. Can you stretch your toes? That's your pike shape. 
Our next shape we're going to practice is our straddle. So you need a straight back. If you've got a wall, you can put your back against the wall to help you. And we're gonna open our legs, stretch your toes, arms out to the side, and say straddle. Let's have a look at our bent leg dish. So for this one, we need a soft surface and we're gonna lay down on our backs. We're gonna bring our knees up and make a straight line with our legs here. Arms off the floor, head off the floor. Can you hold it? Have a go. Our next shape we're gonna look at is our front support. So can you put your hands on the floor? I'm gonna show you this side. Hands flat on the floor. Can you take one foot out to the back and the other foot out to the back? Can you hold it? Have a try. So let me show you again. So hands flat on the floor, one foot out, two feet out. Have a practice. Hello everyone. We're gonna sit in our straddle shape. So can you have a nice straight back? And we're going to put our legs out to the side, make your legs nice and straight, and we have our straddle shape. Now we're going to do some counting. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Now we're going to sit in our tuck shape. So we're going to have our nice straight back and we're going to bring our knees up and we're going to get our glue. Glue your legs together. Arms out. Tap your shoulders and clap your hands. Tap your shoulders and clap your hands. Tap your shoulders and clap your hands. Now we've made a pattern. Pat your head and tap your toes. Pat your head and tap your toes. Pat your head and tap your toes. Now we've made a pattern. Wave your arms from side to side. Wave your arms from side to side. Wave your arms from side to side. Now we've made a pattern. Now we're going to sit in our pike shape. So, nice straight back. Get your legs, put them together and make them nice and straight. And point your toes. We're going to tap the floor. I went to the animal fair, the birds and the bees were there. The big baboon, the light of the moon, was combing his auburn hair. The monkey fell out of his bunk, bang, and slid down the elephant's trunk, Wee! The elephant sneezed, ha, ah, choo, and fell on his knees. And what became of the monkey, 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 monkey? So, today we are going to listen to the story of Appley Dappley. Now, Appley Dappley is a little mouse and it's a poem or a nursery rhyme from a very, very long time ago and someone called Beatrix Potter um, wrote it. So, here's Appley Dappley. I've got myself a little mouse. Looks very hungry. And Appley Dappley likes to eat lots and lots of different things. And she gets her food from a cupboard. So I've made myself a cupboard. Just took an old box and it's got a door on it that you can open and close. So see if you can make yourself a little cupboard at home. I'm going to put it here. And here's my little mouse. Here's Appley Dappley. She loves coming along to see what food is going to come out the cupboard. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got first thing coming out is a slice of yummy cake. She loves cake. Next thing coming out, a slice of cheese. 
all mice like cheese. This is quite a big one. I wonder if it'll fit through my box. Just about. Yummy jam. Who likes jam? This one's strawberry jam. And I've also got, here it comes, a nice biscuit there as well. So we've got cake, cheese, jam and biscuit. And Appley Dapply can now have a nice little sniff and eat up all those lovely tasty foods from inside her cupboard. And this is how the poem goes. Appley Dapply, a little brown mouse, goes to a cupboard in somebody's house. In somebody's cupboard is everything nice. Cake, cheese, jam, biscuits, all charming for mice. Appley Dapley has little sharp eyes and Appley Dapley is so fond of pies. <laughs>